Hi, my name is Father Dan Canberra, and I'm a Marian of the Immaculate Conception, the religious community that operates the National Shrine of Divine Mercy here in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. We are the religious community that was authorized by Pope John Paul II to be the authenticators of the Divine Mercy message. Today I'd like to talk to you about St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco is at least somewhat familiar to many people because of his religious community which he founded. But before he founded that religious community, he slowly developed in, the, in his own home family where they had a great devotion to St. Francis Xavier. St. Francis Xavier was the patron saint of missionaries and poor John Bosco was a sickly young boy and his parents sought the intercession of St. Francis Xavier and it was through his intercession that John Bosco became a healthy and robust son of Holy Mother Church. He sought the wisdom of his spiritual guides and among them that he spoke to was St. Joseph Cafasso, sometimes referred to as the Saint Confessor of the Gallows, because he was the one who very often heard the confession of men who were being punished severely. It was precisely under his guidance that Don Bosco saw that he did not have a call to the Franciscan community, but to a more active religious life and something a little bit more involved with education. Later on, after he was ordained, he went to confession to St. Joseph Cotolengo, who himself was the founder of a religious community and St. Joseph Cotolengo was the one who told him as he felt his cotton cassock, Don Bosco, you need to get yourself a cassock made out of a firmer material because there are going to be many boys who are pulling on your sleeve and seeking your attention. It was a prophetic message. And Don Bosco, wise confessor and priest that he was, got himself a cassock of a firmer material and very soon found himself teaching little boys catechism. Children gathered around him and he shared with them his joy and his love for Christ and his church. It was precisely this that caused his uh, fellow religious to also enjoy his company and to follow in his system of teaching through love rather than discipline. St. John Bosco, or Don Bosco as he was called in his own day, is the patron saint of teachers, but more importantly, he is an example to each and every one of us of how one man, under the wisdom and guidance of saints, is himself the generator of further saints, like his own student, St. Dominic Savio. May God Almighty bless you and all those whom you love.